Do you want to start with the timetable? The timetable? Okay. All right, so, all right, so in 2012, the, um, the timetable is going to change. Um, and it's going to change for the better. Uh, the timetable will still offer the salsa, the bachata and the zook, uh, styles like on two, uh, and specialized classes like styling, body movement, even a bit of Cuban, um, and speciality classes. The way that the timetable is going to change is that there's going to be a bigger, well the way it's changed, the way the timetable has changed is that it's now more suited for the students. So the reason we've changed it is because we want to make sure that the timetable makes it as easy as possible for students to, um, to really learn and master their salsa. So salsa or whichever style it is that they're learning. So <coughs> the most um, significant change is with the salsa structure where on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday all our levels will be offered to the students. So level one to six and the timetable will be planned out in a way that every student can come in in an evening um, on any evening and be able to do their class. So say a student was in level two they could come to Land Motion, do their level two class, and on the same night, they'll always be able to do their level one. Um, now having said that, same applies for any level five students, or level four or level six, that they can come in on any evening, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, and drop in, and they know that the same level five that they have on Monday is on, on Wednesday. And that they can also revise their level four or their level three and that, that can, they can do that any time of the day. So should their commitments ever change with work or they can't make one night, they're guaranteed that they'll always have that class available to them. Um, what we've seen over the years is that the students that revise, the students that get a second or third chance at hearing what the instructors say, um, tend to excel more. Uh, but sometimes uh, things such as uh, availability of classes or cost of classes um, can be factors that stop students or, you know, from continuing and actually doing what they wanted to do, which is learn salsa. Um, so that's probably the, the biggest and most significant change. The other change is that our classes will be, because we're now based in the city, our classes will start earlier. Um, what I mean by that is that from six o'clock onwards, people that do work in the city or in close proximity to our classes will be able to have access to fitness-based classes. So classes such as Zumba, um, which is really popular and still in theme with our Latin dancing, um, and things such as Pilates. Um, for example, Pilates will be on an evening which is uh, the same night as our Zouk night, so it's a good stretch for everyone. Um, and also, um, yeah, so the self benefits for, for students. Um, now, the other, thirdly, the other change is that we want to make sure that all our students, whether they're a beginner and they've only been at Latin Motion for three weeks learning salsa, if they do get curious or they want to try bachata or they want to try zouk or they want to try anything, um, that we will always be running beginners, intermediate and advanced classes in bachata, zouk and uh, what we call secondary styles, so any other style apart from salsa. Um, but that will be more obvious when you look at the, the, the time table. Yeah. So on any given evening people will be able to do a fitness class, they'll be able to revise their salsa classes and they'll also be able to um, try a different style at their level. So you may not necessarily have to be an advanced salsa dancer before you can get into bachata and zuka and any other style. Yeah, so that, that timetable has been created for, um, 
with the students in mind. So flexibility, access, and a really, really big emphasis on, um, on students actually getting the results they want. Good. What about volunteers? <coughs> okay, so volunteers is, uh, is a different part of the school that we're now sort of um, going to expand. Um, can we go into that question later? Yeah, yeah sure. we'll go into that one later. Okay. What about student outings? Again, later. later. Okay. Uh, what about money and costing? Okay. So, <coughs> in 2012, <coughs> um, as I was saying before, one of the things that can get in the way for students of you know, excelling and actually being able to take up extra classes and revision can be money. So, um, next year we'll still have the eight week courses available as normal for $155, which works out to be about $20 a class. And we've always had the option of being able to revise um, for half price, meaning that if you were in level two, um, if you paid for your week, your level two course, you'd always be able to revise your level one for half price. Uh, so that would work out to approximately thirty dollars for a student to be able to to do their next course and revise the one before. Uh, in twenty twelve, our pass, our Latin Motion pass, is twenty nine dollars. That's for a full year, or you can have the option of uh, a six month pass which is $35 a month, $35 a week, sorry. Um, so what that works out to be is it's the same as, you know, taking one course and doing your second one, uh, your second revision course for half price, only that you'll be able to also take advantage of other styles, being the bachata, the zook, the fitness classes that I spoke of earlier. And you'll also... Um, be able to do that any day of the week yeah and that also includes being able to use um, any of our other three locations cool. okay uh, can you please tell me more about your experience as a student okay so <coughs> my experience as a student can have a break, can have a break. <laughs>